All right, guys, I think we got one going on Pinky outside planer board. This is a chicken bait. Let's see if I can work this one to the outside of this other planer. Oh, yeah, masterful angling right there. I'm trying to keep them untangled. This is a small fish, probably a channel catfish. But hey, we're happy to have them, man. Anytime you can get a fish, it's a good thing. Beautiful fall day. Really cool this morning. I got out a little bit late. Why? Well, I figured it was cold enough that most people are going to stay off the water. I'm out here on a weekend, by the way. Decided to come out a little bit later for the heck of it. And as expected, not a lot of people. There probably won't be too many out today. As it gets cooler in the fall, people start staying off the water. That's a good thing. A little more peaceful. But yeah, I hooked up. A little later in the morning, it's still chilly. You can see the trees starting to get a shift in color. They're not totally changing yet. We're starting to get a little bit of change though. Big thing is we got a fish right now. He's coming up. As expected, senior channel catfish. And senior channel catfish has impaled himself on this piece of chicken. Get him back in the water quickly. Boom. All right, guys, what are some mistakes you make fishing in the fall? Well, one, and people really do this about any time of the year, they're waiting for the perfect time to go. Uh, they're waiting to see something on Facebook. They're waiting to get some kind of good feedback, fishing tips, whatever. Fall is the time you don't really wait around to go. You just go because it can be good, and it probably is good at about any time. Some days are better than others, obviously. That's always the case, but don't put off going fishing, waiting for optimal conditions, optimal water temperature, you know, you seeing your buddies catch them. Get out there and go fishing. I think I'm either dragging a log or dragging a small fish. This one is kind of laid over kind of funny. It could be it got into my other planter board line. That's a possibility. There is some resistance on it for some reason, so I'm going to check it. may be a very tiny fish. This is on the chicken side. It goes over. It wants to pull. Acting like a fish. We will see. Did make a move to another location here. First drag was a long way and only that one small fish. I decided to come down here, try a different little spot. I don't feel no head shake. I don't know when this thing bit. If it bit, it's a fish. It actually feels like a decent fish once it starts swimming. Now he's running off to one side. I don't think this fish knew he was hooked. He's going in a totally different direction now. If I had stripers, I'd swear it was a striper. Let me try bringing him back to this side. There we go. Get him around the major. Get him over here where I can do battle with him. Lifted him in here. It's a good fish. I guess he was just content with being caught. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna let him take that one with him. Nice fish. Good blue. Let's get him back alive. Another big mistake I see people making is fishing, trying to fish way too deep, trying to go to that old thing of, man, I gotta find the deepest hole or the deepest spot or fishing at the dam or fishing at the bridge. There's a lot of shallow water fish this time of the year. It's a good time for you bank anglers, especially if you don't have access to deep water. Stay away from that deep stuff. Sometimes there may be some places, some locations where that'll work, but don't get focused on it. Don't get preoccupied. Don't make the mistake of that being the only place you fish. Guys, that purple reel looks like there may be a fish on it as I auto deploy my motor, auto stow it. Downside of the motor, if it's in your pocket and you bump the button, it will uh, stow it. Note to self, don't let that happen. Anyway, we got a fish on. First world problem, the problems of modern technology. Let me bump that sucker back on, get me back on course. The joys, also the joys of learning a new boat. Anyway, I hooked up this time on cut bait, and this is a better fish. This is a better fish, and I can't tell if he's into this other line or if I got, to, yeah, he's into that other line. That's a good fish though. That's a better fish. Even with the planer pulling, that's a better fish. We'll take him. Yeah, I think he swam into that line for a second. Get this off of here. Bigger fish, bigger fish, getting up here near the bank. Guess what? I'm catching fish. You can see the bank's right over my shoulder. Dude, this is a heavy fish. Is wanting to stay down. He's into my other line too. Looked like the cork came off. I got one of my corks back there floating. Okay, 30 pound Andy monofilament monster. Y'all seen me use it. Purple ancient mariner reel and a big cat fever medium light trolling rod. And I am into my other line, but still, my Gomex's power handle. Gotta love those things. It's a little aftermarket add on. Good fish, good fish, good fish. I see him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that is a fat one, dude. That is. Big old fat slob, he is in the net. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. 
That right there, guys, is a day maker. Let's get him in the boat, see what he looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that body on that sucker. Oh, 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 oh. That is a fish. Look at that belly. Eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's getting back alive. Now the mistake is stressing on bait. This is time of the year they're hitting a lot of stuff. I mean, we're catching them on cut bait today. We're catching them on chicken today. They're feeding. They're active. Spawn's over with. These fish just want to eat. Water temperatures are comfortable. Don't stress on bait. Listen, if you can get some great cut bait and you feel good with that, go with it. That's awesome. But don't stress on it. If you got to go pick up a pack of chicken or some night crawlers at your local bait and tackle store, get out and go fishing. You're going to catch some fish using any of those baits. Sure, some may be better than others, but don't stress on having a big giant bait this time of the year or something specific to the spawn that's going on in the spring. Get some bait, get out, and go fishing. All right, y'all heard me talk about the reel-in bite. I just reeled in three out of six rods. Pick up this rod, and I swear there's a fish hit it right when I picked it up. I really believe that action brings action. And when you've got fish feeding stuff, moving stuff happening in the water column, it makes fish bite. It's one of the reasons I keep my perch rods out all the time. It's like, if I can get those fish to feed, usually I'll catch catfish. And sure enough, there's a fish right there. This one is on the cut bait. Whether or not he wanted to hit that, wasn't interested in it, wasn't really hungry, whatever. He hit it when I started moving it. So I don't know if he thought it was getting away, trying to escape, whatever. We called him back alive. Now here's a tip. If you're wanting to catch fish versus catching big fish, I would definitely say try to downsize your bait some. Uh, these fish just seem to be feeding. They're feeding pretty aggressively. They're pretty active and they may be full. So I think having those downsized baits will help. We caught a disproportionate number of fish on cut bait today because we were using smaller chunks. So uh, I've had big ones out. I've had the big heads, the carcasses, the whole fish. I seem to have done better with smaller pieces of bait. Now, if you want to eliminate all the small fish and just catch some giants, sure, go ahead and go with that. But man, fish are active this time of the year. If you're just trying to see if fish are in the area you're fishing, the lake you're fishing, the river, the pond, whatever, downsize your baits, see what's in there. If they start driving you nuts with how many you're catching, you can upsize the bait to eliminate some of those small ones. Get this one across here, reeling in this other planer board to put this stuff away, and I swear there's a fish just hit this inside planer board. I'm not kidding. I pulled that one channel cat off of there just a second ago. Let me get this one out of the way. No bait left on this one. This was one of the chicken baits. Let's just see. There's something on here. Coming in weird. I swear this happened. Am I at the right place in the creek and I'm leaving too soon? I don't know. I don't know, but I swear there's a fish on there. And it may be an important lesson about uh, fishing in the fall, especially. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but there's a fish on here. There is a fish. Unreal. Unreal. It's like they hit right. You know, these are small fish, channel cats. Boom. Another keeper, another eater, another chunker back on the chicken. Another one is don't focus on time of day. Don't focus on fishing at night. Don't focus at fishing early. You see me out here a lot of times at sunrise. I love fishing first thing in the morning, but I came out later today and I'm catching fish. So uh, a lot of people get preoccupied with fishing at night. Gotta go night fishing, catfish bite at night. Dude, this time of the year, it may work, it may not work. This is a time of the year when you can catch them all day long, middle of the day, just as good as early in the morning. Sure, lunar phase may come into play on that, but don't get preoccupied on going, oh, I can't go fishing because I can't go at night or I gotta work or something like that. Get out and fish. The bite can take off and happen about any time during the day. All right, guys, I think we may have one on the old purple reel. Chicken bait straight out the back of the boat. Yes, sir, hooked up. Hooked up over here dragging next to the bank. Beating the bank, baby, beating the bank. Seeing what's in here we hooked up thought this may be a channel cat it may be a little bit bigger it was kind of a herky jerky bite but yeah fish are biting um it's it's funny with those fish there on that reel in bite how that works uh i did make a move ran to just some different water i haven't fished in a long time to try it some good wind and all the troll here to the bank and poof we got us an eater size blue semi sassy semi boom got him it's a good eater size fish right there guys if you want some to eat this would be the ticket right there this one, let's get to go back. 
little butt sticking out there usually a sign that they're eating on mussels don't know we'll see uh, i know they tend to hit chicken when they're eating mussels so that's why i use it so we'll see if there's any up through here get these babies back in the water i just released that fish and put it back in the water and i either got a fish or this one got hit yep hooked up hooked up i'm getting hit kind of quickly up here again this is with a good rod casting distance of the bank these fish pull the banks for whatever reason not sure why the bait's there why the thread fender there definitely running up on the bank this time of the year that's why i say you guys bank fishing this is the time to be out so oh, he swallowed it he swallowed it boom pliers you got to have some boom pliers i need a new pair i've had these forever a little bit of blood bam another eater sized fish chicken shallow fall fishing <laughs> 